Hi guys, uh, this is Deliverer Studios. Welcome to another episode of Android Programming. In this particular application, we'll be talking about how to call an online API using the Retrofit uh, HTTP library. Okay, uh, we have used Voli as networking library in, a, in some of my tutorials. Uh, in this particular tutorial, we'll be looking at another awesome library called Retrofit uh, to make HTTP calls, you know, uh, retrofit is you no know, the better alternative to Voli in terms of ease of use, performance, extensibility, and other uh, things. You no, know? it is a type safe REST API client for Android built by Square. Okay, uh, you should be familiar. If you're not familiar with the REST, I would like you to uh, search for that on the on Google. You know, REST client. Okay, using this tool. Android developer can make all network stuff much more easier. It's much more easier. And uh, we're going to actually download the JSON and show it uh, in a recycler view as a list. You know, we're going to call an online API, uh, download it, and also show it as a recycler view. That's what we'll be doing in this particular application. So uh, we'll be using uh, a library from the movie DB. You know, that is the API that we'll be calling in this uh, tutorial. So uh, I will implore you to go to this URL, the moviedb.org. You know, I'm actually in my own particular account. I created an account. So you need to create an account with them, fill in the fields. Uh, they'll send you uh, a link to your uh, email address. From there, you activate uh, the, the account. So you can come over to this dashboard. So when you're on this dashboard, if you notice in the account session, you have the details, API, apps, changes, discussions, and so on. But you have to click on the API uh, session. Once you click on this API, you get the developer and the professional session. Or you move to the developer, you know, because we are, we are going to actually use this as a test, not a... Uh, okay, in this develop, developer session, you need to uh, sign up with their... Uh, terms and condition okay you need to accept the API terms so you click on accept so uh, you get to this form whereby you need to request an API key because you actually need this key attached uh, to the URL of uh, of these uh, uh, to a URL whereby we'll, be, we'll have, have to call on 50 or up to 50 movie details uh, movies they, they are names and also uh, the uh, the year of our production and probably short summary about uh, the movie you know okay you need to fill it this so I'll actually fill this and get back to completing the form I'll need to click on submit I have to I pick on the mobile application okay I click on submit okay if you notice it's success uh, uh, the form has been completed successfully and it has, it has been submitted uh i have my api key and also the example api request these are uh, particular url is very very important uh the example url the example api request and also the api key these are very very important okay I'll, I'll need to still come back to these in the course of the application okay all right, that's fine. Uh, so we'll be moving straight to Android Studio, where I'll be explaining the, the source files of this application in details. Okay. Uh, first of all, we'll look at our Gradu scripts, the Build Gradu project session, and also the Model App session. Uh, in the Model App session, uh, we have the dependencies, App Compact version 7, 23.3.0, very important, and also the retrofit. Uh, JSON, no, it's JSON. Okay, well, we actually included the code JSON 2.6.2 and also the Square Up Retrofit uh, version and the Square Up Retrofit Converter. Uh, these three uh, libraries are very important. And also the Recycler View, where we included the Support Recycler View version 7. Okay. Uh, Let's go to the project session of the build gradu. Okay, uh, this is where we have the first parts uh, 1.5.0, very, very important. 
afterwards we'll be moving to our rest folder where we have the layout uh the values uh the drawable and the mip map okay uh in the layout files we have the activity main and also the list item movie in the activity main which is the ui of this uh, application i will get to look at the initializing rendering library later on let's look at uh it's a relative layout with the layout with a night match parent and the context is calling from the main activity uh, package from the Delaware Studios retrofit activity, the main activity. And we have included the Android support version 7 widget for the recycler view, where we assign an ID to it called Movies Recycler View with the layout width and height called Match Parent, and the scroll bars are vertical. So we close the relative layout. Let's get to look at the design view if uh, available. Okay, we have the retrofit as the top header. And we have our list here. Here we're still going to add uh, the recycler view. That's what we actually did. Uh, it's actually going to be handled by recycler view. Uh, let's look at the list item movie example. Okay, this is actually going to list the movie. Uh, it's a linear layout with a graffiti of center vertical. The orientation is uh, horizontal and the padding is 16 dp. Uh, we have a linear layout uh, right inside it uh, with a weight of wrap content. And also rotation of vertical. Now we have a text view where we assign an ID to it called Type 2 with the layout with an ID wrap content and the padding right is 16 dp. Okay, another text view is for the subtitle and we have for the description. Okay, uh, we close the linear layout and we have another linear layout right inside this uh, that has an orientation of horizontal and the image view is calling the rating image just to rate uh, the particular movie and we have a text view that actually holds on to the rating with a rating id we close up the linear layout and also close up the parent tag linear layout let's get to look at the design okay this is going to be for each uh, movie list you know in a recycler view that's what that is uh let's look at our uh, strings uh that only holds on to the app name the same thing goes for the color, where we have the color primary, the orange, the color accent, dark, black, and white. We'll be moving straight to uh, Java classes. Let's look at the drawable. We only have the star XML uh, that has a vector. Uh, as a, you know, we need to create a star, you know, a star shape. So that's just what this is actually doing. Where we fill the color uh, with dark, with black, and also with the path data. Now we'll be looking at some Java classes. We have a sub uh, folder from the with in, which includes the activity, the adapter, the model, and the rest. Okay, this activity actually holds on to the main activity of the application, and the adapter calls on the movies adapter. And we have the model, which is like the backend that actually saves the, uh, the data from the REST API, where we have the movie uh, class and the movie response class. We have the REST itself, which is the uh, retrofit library, API client, and the API interface. So let's get to look at uh, the main activity, the UI of the application. Okay, uh, this actually uh, handles where we imported uh, the adapter, the movie adapter, the movie, the movie's response, the API client, and the API interface. Uh, the main activity extends app compact uh, where we created a string uh, calling this get simple name method and insert the movie db api key this is where you're going to insert it, it is actually uh, calling from the api client itself now we need to insert the api key so i will have to move uh, over to my apis okay i need to copy this I move back to my application you paste it there okay you need to take off this concatenation that came up okay you take off all this all right uh you are good to go now uh, you have the uncreate method that actually calls on the uh, super uncreate and sets the content view to the layout activity main and this is calling if the api key is empty with this api key you know there's going to be a toast dash place opting your api key from uh the theme uh the movie db.org you know 
but if not uh the recycler view will be called and it's going to get its id from the movies recycler view which is going to actually get uh from the activity main and uh the api interface which we are going to still talk about the class we need to instantiate this giving it the api service okay we're going to get the client and call the api interface class now the movie response well we're going to since we created an object from the api interface called api service we're going to get the top rated movies based on the api keys so the call will be in queue and uh, we have a generic movie response which will be passed whereby we're going to populate the list of the movies and set the adapter to the recycler view and also get the layout list item movie to populate this so on failure you no know, there's going to be a log error yes since request fade so it's going to actually uh toast to the uh ui or to the screen gracefully that there's an error so let's get to look at uh the movie the api client first before we get to look at the movies and the movie responses okay the api client actually this is the our uh, api client uh we have created api client method and we have the base url which is the http which is what we're going to show you again over here can you notice this core so we need to still pick this up this is 550 but i'll go to modify this to 50. we only need 50. okay you copy this out come over here try to paste it in here Okay. right you need to modify this and give it 50 okay uh we have a retrofit tactic uh field called null so it's translated to null now we have the get client that check if the retrofit is null and uh it's going to instantiate it with a new keyword it's going to find the base url and also add converter like factory to it and build up so it's going to return retrofit this is what the api uh client is actually being very very important we have the api interface uh that actually calls on the api key and gets its id you know based on the movie rated top rated and the movie id now after you might have uh called the uh the apis from the uh retro uh from the db that's my movie db you know it's going to come back with a json file that json file is what will be encoded in the model directory okay we we'll show you something very quickly uh in my uh, browser so i move over to the example API request uh being uh given from uh my db that's the deep the movie db once you copy this uh you create a new tab you paste the link and uh you take away make it 50 you know so i run this and i would like you to see the json call that will come up afterwards okay a resource code no, let's let's is that to the feed okay okay now we still have it okay 550 so we still have to maintain this i'll need to go and change that in uh in the so it's actually going to call uh the api key so now you have this full you need to copy this up okay after copying it you move back to the online json viewer just to view it very well because this looks uh too scattered okay when you move to the online json viewer you paste it over here okay and you view it up you notice this so with this you can get to look at uh the JSON file very very well you know where you have the adult the backdrop path that belongs to collection the home page the genre the original language and so on so with these are uh, uh let me say key value pairs you know there's a key and a value so these are what we need to encode right inside the uh the movies model can you notice where we serialize name called poster part which is conforming uh with our as a poster part we have the backdrop part we have the uh the budget 
Okay, let's get to look at this again. We have the adult, we have the overview, we have the release date, the January IDs. Okay, uh, the January, the IDs, no? uh, the poster parts. Okay, there's the poster part. Uh, we also have the release dates. You know, these are just uh, the keys. You know, we pick up from these are uh, JSON. Okay, you need to pick them up. So we actually created a class from this called movie, and we created the fields, you know, based on the keys gotten from the JSON. You know, the release date, the January ID, the original title, the original language. Now we have a constructor called movie where we're passing all the keys are uh, all the keys being uh, declared as parameters. You know, release date, their strings, those that are IDs, those are those are integer, we give it an integer data type, those that are string, we give it a, a string data type, and those that are generic, just like these are generic IDs, we passed in the list uh, and the integer of the generic. Now we instantiate by assigning to this class so that any value passed in will be saved in the post part uh, variable. Now we get we have to get the poster part and set. That's the get and set method for every uh, attribute, just like we would be for is adult, set adult, just like encapsulation. So we have to get and set for each attribute. That's what uh, we actually did in the movie. So this is how to actually uh, read uh, the JSON file from uh, probably an API or even from. Let's say a ready-made JSON file. You can read it up from using this, uh, using this kind of approach. So from there, we'll be looking at uh, the movies adapter, uh, where we actually extend the recycler view, set this adapter. We have the list movie, uh, the role layout, and the context. Uh, we have the movie order that extends this. This is how we're going to show it up on the uh, on the on the adapter. You know. Is actually holding on to the movies uh, layouts, calling the IDs, movie title, we call the top, also the movie description and the rating. Okay, uh, we'll be more looking at our manifests. Uh, this is just a simple manifest whereby we have the user's permission, internet. Internet permission is very, very important. And also, uh, we create uh, the launcher activity, which is the main activity of this application. So I'll be uploading these source files to my GitHub account and uh, I'll be showing this in an Android emulator. So stay tuned. Here we go with the application, Retrofit. Uh, do you notice the list of uh, the movies and also some details about the movie? Uh, and also the time and the favorite button. Okay, let's get to show more. No, this is actually calling from the online API. It's calling from the my movie DB, so it's not that uh, I actually had coded all these uh, details. It's actually calling from the JSON past, and we passed it using the, the title, uh, some details, the date, and assigned a favorite star to it, and also some time. So it's actually just listing out uh, the API calls uh, from the online or from my db using the retrofit uh http library all right thank you very very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye